we have found our fellow kidnapped and murdered brothers and sisters. They were kidnapped on October 7, 2023 and murdered and buried in this tunnel over here. The mission of bringing back our fellow people, no matter where from and from what force that they are taken into, is an outmost valuable and valued mission for us to do. We will do it all it takes to bring down the Hamas and all it takes to bring back our fellow people from wherever they are. Hundreds of Israeli troops rescued four hostages from Hamas in Gaza on Saturday. The operation took weeks to plan and resulted in the death of one officer, Arnon Zamora, commander in the elite Imam unit who fell while leading the operation. The hostages, Noah Argamani, 26, Almo Meir Jean, 22, Andre Koslev, 27, and Shlomi Z, 41, were held in two houses in Al Musarat, a residential neighborhood in central Gaza. They were kidnapped from the Nova Music Festival in southern Israel on October 7th last year. Hamas hid the hostages among Gaza civilians guarded by terrorists. The four were freed under heavy fire and are now in good health. After the rescue, they reunited with their families following evaluation at Sheba Medical Center. Noah Argamani visited her mother, who has been hospitalized with advanced brain cancer at Tel Aviv Sarovsky Medical Center. An earlier video showed Argamani reuniting with her father, smiling and embracing him. And the Israel police recently released new video footage showing the special forces raid on a house in Gaza to rescue hostage Noah Argamani. The footage includes sounds of explosions and gunfire as the police work to secure Agamani and the other hostages. Agamani, along with Almog Meir Jan, Andrei Kozlov and Shlomi Ziv were among the four hostages rescued by Israeli forces from Hamas captivity on June 8th. Agamani gained significant recognition as one of the hostages abducted by Hamas on October 7th. Footage of her abduction where she was taken into Gaza on a motorcycle while pleading for her life garnered international attention. Her boyfriend, Abi Natan Ol, was marched into Gaza alongside Al Gamani, who remains in captivity. Let's take a look at the clip. Yes, I know, 
אנחנו כרגע בחבירה, בחבירה של כוח צבאי. You understand what's going on, but why, why me? We got used to everything, like to to think about uh, maybe we can die, maybe they will kill us, maybe something wrong will happen. Maybe like, anything can happen. After a brutal eight months held in captivity by Hamas in the Gaza Strip, Andrei Kozlov, a sous chef who worked as a security guard at the Nova Music Festival, was rescued from a civilian apartment in the Nuzeirat refugee camp in central Gaza by Israeli special forces. Together with Shlomi Ziv and Elmog Meir Jan, Kozlov, who had only moved to Israel 18 months prior to his kidnapping, was held captive by a journalist, Abdullah Al-Jamal, who wrote regularly about the war's toll on Gazans while simultaneously holding three Israelis hostage in his family's apartment. I understood maybe after like five minutes, after like we started to drive, I realized that we're going to Gaza. Over the course of the first six months, the three men were transferred to six different sites while being restrained by padlocks and chains on their wrists and ankles. In December, they were moved into Al Jamal's apartment. While sometimes their captors would play cards with the men and let them watch TV, they were also told that the IDF was trying to kill them with their bombardments on Gaza because they posed a threat to Israel. They always told us that um, Israel gonna kill us because we are like like a problem for them. Don't believe in this. No, no, no. It it can't be like this. But they they didn't stop. The doctor who received the hostages after their rescue said that all of them were extremely malnourished and had experienced different forms of physical and psychological abuse. Already like we got used to every to everything. To bombs terrorists without faces, they were in masks. Two Kalashnikov, two RPG that uh, near our mattresses, two grenades, two big bombs. They told us that uh, if somebody will come to rescue us, they will kill us. For seconds I was really afraid. After I was full of hope and to see a lot of soldiers who were really happy about that they do for us. I saw a lot of a lot of smiles. Like everybody of them, they shake our hands, like they try to keep us calm. They are they're heroes. Like I'm not a hero. They are heroes. Andre got through the days in captivity by repeating mantras to himself in Russian. You are alive. Every day a gift. And my family is waiting for me, alive, whole and well. In that day I was 
full of emotions. It was a condition of highest level of adrenaline and like you, you just came from there by helicopter and now I'm here. I can do like, <sighs> you see all of them. Wow, wow, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Rescued in Gaza after 327 days in Hamas captivity, former hostage Farhan al Qadi is reportedly in good health after reuniting with family at Soroka Hospital. The IDF has released some details on the rescue operation, but much remains under censorship so as not to harm other potential rescues. The State of Israel also announced the recovery of the body of Sergeant Shaked Dahan, who was murdered on October 7th during the Hamas massacre. His body was rescued from Hamas by IDF forces in Gaza and returned home. May his memory be blessed. More now from Gaza from ILTV's Steve Lewis. The IDF has released some details on the rescue of 52-year-old Farhan al-Qadi from Gaza after nearly 11 months of Hamas captivity. The Bedouin father of 11 was found and rescued by Naval Special Forces and the Yalom Combat Engineering Unit deep in a tunnel in South Gaza. The operation was based on precise intelligence. The army did not know exactly where Al-Qaeda was, but had intelligence indicating that there could be hostages nearby. The IDF had been operating in an area of South Gaza for several days with the assumption that hostages could be held in the area. The Shayet at 13 commandos and Shin Bet agents began to slowly search a tunnel complex in the area where they discovered Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda was alone in the tunnel where the special forces located him. No other hostages or Hamas terrorists were alongside him, and troops did not face any resistance. The IDF troops questioned Al-Qaeda and route back to Israel in the hopes that he would be able to provide information on other possible hostages in the area. We cannot go into many details of this special operation, but I can share that Israeli commandos rescued Qaid Farhan al qadi from an underground tunnel following accurate intelligence. His medical condition is stable and he will undergo examination in hospital. His family had been waiting 326 days to receive the news they did today. But there are still 108 hostages whose families are still waiting to hear news that their loved ones are home. That's a lot of